So today, we're going to talk about Day Job, episodes one through three. They're part of the uh, Fresh Blood uh, ABC shorts. All of our three are available on YouTube, or at least the time I'm making this. This was suggested on the Discord by Cornbread uh, because it is also uh, features uh, Michael Cusack, I think, uh, from Smile, the co-creator of Smiling Friends, who's an executive producer and has a voice in one of the minor characters in this, as well as the creator of this, Paul Gregorio, created it. It's the voice of Ivan, who's the main character, and uh, animated on Smiling Friends. Uh, thank you for letting me know about this, Cornbread. I like to review shows that not enough people are talking about, and I th actually think this more people should be talking about that. Uh, this is about uh, everyone who works at this bowling alley, mainly about the character of Ivan and uh, Lily, where um, both are sort of kind of stuck in uh, a bad day job of working at a bowling alley and not sure uh, where they're going in their lives and kind of being depressed about it. Ivan can't even find a place to live. You probably saw some of those clips on Twitter, like the clip of him trying to find a place to live, uh, having a hard time with that. He actually ends up living in the staff room of the bowling alley, uh, knowing he wanted to go into film school and then he's uh, just stuck in a day job he never wanted to be. I have no clue what that's like. But I think much like when I recently reviewed the show, I hate people, people hate me. I think this is a very good show about being post-college, being a young person in your 20s, but also that it's very real. It's very real about like, you're just kind of hanging out, you don't know where you're going, you don't have enough money to do really anything, and you're stuck in this like shitty job, and you have a, you know, a boss who's much older than you that you're sort of friends with, and you're kind of trying to make the most of it. And I think Ivan's very much stuck in this. I was at the time stuck in jobs and stuff. And you're just like kind of hanging out and imagining all the stuff that before when you're in college felt like a possibility. It still sort of does, but you're kind of like losing hope and faith in yourself, which she does, which Lily also does. And she's in college and she doesn't know where she's going. Sort of the aimlessness of the 20s, much like how Clerks did, much like how The Young Ones did, much like how everything of this kind of post-college 20s shows does. And I think it does it very well. Um, Cornbread mentioned that he felt it was like home movies. I kind of get a vibe like home movies or King of the Hill or sort of like neorealism in a sense, um, but also being kind of cartoony. And it's also a documentary of like, so it's like sort of the office in a sense, like it's a documentary of them filming life in this bowling alley. For what purpose, we don't know. And it feels like it drops it towards the third episode of these shorts. But I really like the kind of vibe of this. And I, I kind of like shows talking about like kind of the looseness of what happens uh, in your 20s and how lost you can possibly be. I like everything with the boss Rico and how like you see like how adult life is complicated. And you can work really hard and it can work out and it can't work out. As well as like seeing like where are you going to go from here? What's going to happen? Like it, I could see... 20 30 episodes of this easily i think it's like really good at understanding the characters understand the place they are like the thing of like him trying to find a place to live feels really hard uh him living in the staff room i think is uh pretty true to life and stuff i found it to be a fairly relatable thing from 20 years ago to me at this point it just has that aimless vibe to it but in a way that doesn't feel like it's kind of like lost in its aimlessness like you'd expect like an indie film to do it like understands the point of each episode and like really centers it so it both feels aimless but feels purposeful and um i really actually like day job quite a bit i think it is kind of completely underrated and i wish more people would watch these three episodes that are on youtube i think it is uh taking on that in such more of a natural way because i think a lot of these shows that are actually live action don't take it on in a natural way, they take it on in like a fantastical way or a way that like, like I feel like that, but it's not fully, even though I, I like shows like that. This feels like, like when I was this age, I had to have a job or, you know, I'd have no money. Like I had to have a job and um, I could be homeless basically. And you're stuck in this thing. You don't like where you're going. You don't have many other options. Uh, you know, when I had it, like there was like a year and then there was a recession for a bunch of years. So it's just like, it was always really tough. And it reminds me of like that malaise of the whole thing. How like everything, you're kind of stuck in this chill job and it feels trapping, but there's sort of a family there and you're not really sure where you're going to go from it. And I think that captured it really well while also being a fairly functional good sitcom um it's not as maybe as crazy and weird as smiling friends 
or anything like that. It is a different show. It's a different creative outlet. But I do uh, think it is um, a really cool, relatable show, and I think could have far more potential if given the chance to do it. I um, would recommend and say you should really check out Day Job. I think it is probably one of the more undervalued cartoons that I've seen clips go viral uh, from. I hope people check these out. I will have the links in the description of this. And uh, I think it is actually a legitimately uh, really cool and interesting show and kind of like one of those undiscovered cartoons that we really should be checking out.